The first relationship is the one that we almost always take for granted and forget about. And that's the relationship you have with yourself. Are you self-aware? Are you self-disciplined? When you make a mistake, which is inevitable because you're a human being, do you have self-compassion? Are you able to move to the next play? But more importantly, are you making the time to do the things that you know you need to do to fill your own bucket? Notice I said making. You'll never find the time for anything. Not when you work as much as you work and you have your families and you have all of your other commitments. You will never find the time for anything. You have to make the time to fill your own bucket. Mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually if appropriate to you. But you have to make the time to do that. Because that is the only way that you can become your best self. And here's what I need you to understand. Every person in this room needs you to show up as your best self. They are counting on you to show up as your best self. That anytime you choose not to be your best self, you personally are lowering the chance that you're going to accomplish those goals that were set earlier today. Now, many of you are servant leaders. You're servant leaders at heart. You're servant leaders in everything that you do. And one of the, the problems, though, with servant leaders is many times you're so busy serving others that you forget to fill your own tank. And while your intentions may be noble, it's actually an act of selfishness. When you show up as anything less than your best self, you give the team less of a chance to win. That means you're being selfish. And I know that that can be a really challenging concept to wrap your mind around because how can someone be selfish who is always giving and serving? Well, trust me, the people in this room, your spouses, your loved ones, your family, your children, they all need you to be your best self. So you need to figure out the things that allow you to do that. It could be meditation or prayer. It could be taking a spin class or a yoga class. It could be listening to classical music or going for a walk. It could be uh, having a glass of red wine and firing up a hot bath. Uh, whatever it may be, it's whatever refills your bucket and you have to make the time to do those things. And because we know how chaotic the day can be, I recommend that you make the time during the bookends of your day. That you rework whatever your current morning and evening routine is. You reevaluate how you spend the first 60 minutes when you wake up and the last 60 minutes before you go to bed. And you start to carve some of that time to do the things that you know you need to do.